In this video, we're in Microsoft Excel. We're going to look at how to create a sequence of numbers. So I want 1 through to 12. So I'll type 1 there, select the cell. There's a little fill handle, bottom right of the cell, that little square. When I place my mouse pointer over it, the mouse pointer changes from a white cross to a black cross. Hold down my left mouse button, drag down, let go. And all it does is copy the value. Now, if I want a sequence, I've got to go down to this autofill options button, go to fill series. Now, another way of achieving that without having to use this autofill options button is put your one in there and hold down control on your keyboard and do the same thing, drag that fill handle down and automatically it's the sequence of numbers. So you don't have to start with one. You can start with any number. Hold down control, drag down. It increments the value by one as the value is filled down the column. Okay. What if you don't want to increment by one? Well, that's easy. So I wanted to increment by five. Let's put naught five. So I've told Excel there what my increment is. It's an increment of five. Select both cells. Now, if I drag down, I'm not holding down control or anything. You see that it automatically increments that value. So what if I want to count down? If I had five and then a zero there, select both values, drag down. So you end up with negative values down here. Now, these two examples were examples of linear growth. The increment is the same between each of the values. You might want to do something different. For example, if I put one and then three in here, the trend I want to repeat here is that I've tripled the value. So one way of creating that kind of series would be to select both of the original values. And then instead of left clicking on the fill handle, right click on it, drag down. And then you get this option for growth trend. Linear trend is the default. Growth trend is what we want. And you can see it's tripled the value as it's been copied down. Now, if you don't like this right click method of dragging a fill series down, there is a slightly easier way of achieving the same thing. You still need to express the trend that you want to create. So again, I'm tripling the value. I select all the cells that I want the fill series in. Home tab on my ribbon. Editing group, fill button, series. So series in columns, not in rows. I don't want to fill across the sheet. Type growth. Step value, I want to triple the value. And then I'm just going to click on OK. And it does the same thing. Slight so variation on that. If I type a value in here. I'm not going to express the trend, nor am I going to select more than one cell. I go to fill, series, again in columns, growth, step value, tripling the value, and I can put in a stop value. So for example, if I put 20,000 in here, what I'm saying here is that I don't want to exceed that value. And you can see it does it for me. It stops just before it gets to 20,000. Okay, so there's a few methods you can use to fill a series or a sequence of numbers in Excel. Hopefully you found that useful. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.